Hi everybody, it's June, June Angel Pews. Right, it's a really quick video. Um, trained on the television, um, <coughs> so I can't, can't find anything pretty for you to look at at the minute. Um, this is just this bit here is just to um, tell you about a new craft. Well, new to me that I've found on TV. I've no idea how I come across it, um, but I found this stitch craft. Create.tv and then they um, advertise this craft daily which is on TV and it's on um, would you believe um, property show the channel this is UK obviously um, and it's 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 a good channel there's loads of um, all different topics in each show excuse me um, and you obviously pick and choose what you like and what you don't like. And I just thought I'd just train the the, um, the camera on this. Um, I've got the flu. I've got a really, really bad flu. I can't remember the last time I had anything like it. Um, I've, the last two days were the coughing and the cold, like symptoms. Now I just can't lift my head off the pillow. Um, you know, it's it's typical flu. I've got a raging temperature. Um, and all the aching limbs and, you know, goodness knows what. So, um, the purpose of this video is um, to say that I'm not going to be able to create my lovely uh, little sissy's um, snippet. It's not going to happen, I'm afraid. Um, I will do one for her after the challenge is finished because I would love it to be included um, on one of her canvases or, you know, whatever she's going to do. Um, I, I was going to ask Trisha not to include me in the draw anyway because, um, you know, Trisha and I are very close, as you know, um, and over the years, God love her, she has um, gifted me so many of her fabulous um, creations I am blessed to have um, these things and um, I'd like somebody else, you know, to have the opportunity. The people I've spoken to, <coughs> excuse me, over the um, time I've been on YouTube have said, oh, I'd do anything to have a creation of Trisha's, you know. So here's your opportunity um, and I don't want to take that away from anybody, you know, if I did win a dr the draw. Um, so, as I said, that was going to happen anyway. I was going to send her this, this snippet and I was going to ask her not to include me in the draw. Um, but, it's, as I say, because I'm so poorly, it's not going to happen. Um, but, as I say, repeating myself, I know, but I will do one but, but later on. Um, I've got one of the challenge, which is... Um, oh, gosh... Oh, Virginia, Virginia Darling, I can't remember your channel name. Um, I can't remember the closing date on that. I think I might be all right, but we'll have to wait and see because I don't know how long this is going to take me over. For those who saw my Facebook page regarding the... Uh, oh, I, I can barely speak. I'm still so upset about it. The box of... Uh, Irish lace and crocheted items which is worth many hundreds of pounds. I opened the other night to actually find some to put on Trisha's uh, snippet and when I opened it the smell nearly, well it did make me physically sick whether it was this flu that was coming on anyway I don't know but um, it's completely, everything was wet but not only wet, I put the photos on my Facebook, so if you want to go and have a look, that's June Linda Bachelor. Um, and everything is black and mould. I immediately took photos and then um, put the, the whole lot in these, you know, the vacuum seal bags, um, and put those in a big tub and sellotaped it all completely closed. 
because I know how very dangerous those mole spores are. And, you know, because I'm pretty susceptible at the moment. Um, I'm just, I mean, today was going to be the day when I uh, uh, took, because there's one other cabinet that we haven't been behind. We presumed it was all right. And that's the cabinet with all my um, doilies in there. And it, it's an old fashioned, I think I've shown it on one of my videos, old fashioned um, glass lift up and over cabinet that is just crammed full of doilies and lace, uh, tablecloths, etc. So today I was going to um, take everything out um, and get one of the, the maintenance men to come and lift it up so we can see what's behind, if there's been any damage. We're presuming there wasn't, but now, having found that box, God only knows how much damage. You know, because I had that fl oh sorry, because I had the flood um, and we were moved, the guys moved everything for me and um, they moved things that w were wet and they didn't tell me, so they sat for goodness knows how long. And they've moved them back, obviously not told me, you know, and I've only just got around to seeing there's big problems. Um, I mean, my craft room anyway is a bit of a disaster you know you can imagine but um having to take everything out again i can't believe honestly but i don't know when i'm gonna get that done but i have um contacted my solicitor today um not my solicitor that will be tomorrow um my insurance firm and told them exactly what i'm uh, what i've done and what i'm proposing to do so we'll have to see what's what. Um, many thanks to those people who commented on my Facebook. And I think it was Eva mentioned as, as a special soap for um, removing mould. My only problem is I think they should be professionally clean, to be honest. I don't think it's safe for me to be handling them because of the spores. Um, and because they are antique in themselves um, and very, very uh, fragile, you know, I think it's it would be crazy for me to attempt it. Now, whether I'll have to pay for that, whether I can get Elston Park Village extra care to pay for that, I don't know. Um, it's going to be a battle, so I just don't really know what to do at the moment. <laughs> Anyway, just sort of let you know what's what. Um, I won't be around for a little while, as you can imagine. So, see you all soon. I don't think there's anything else, not that I can think of anyway. Sorry, Tricia, I couldn't get that done, but I'll speak to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.